Hello you delightful people, my name is Simon and I'm back with more Hunter x Hunter, or as I like to call it, gun bashing. Um, some people really think I I, I hate Gone, and I, I don't hate Gone. I, I just think that he is a little bit too perfect, even with his flaws. Um, so, yes, last week we had the Hisoka versus Castro fight, uh, at least the beginning of it, where we saw Castro completely outmatch... Uh, Hisoka and even removed one of his arms um, which notably had been toned down for censorship reasons for some reason I guess because um, people said that in the previous one there was blood coming out of the arm and there was no blood coming out this time so I'm very excited to see how this is going to finish Hisoka's really going to have to pull something out of the bag here and um, you know with Castro being able to complete uh, to create clones or doubles, um, he really does have an advantage. So, yeah, who's going to win? Is Hisoka going to lose and die? That would be a huge shock. Um, where would that leave Gon? You know, because Gon's whole purpose right now is to kind of train to beat Hisoka. If someone else does it for him, is that going to leave him with a bit of a, a gaping hole, a, a loss of a purpose? You know, that'd be pretty interesting to see. At the same time, it's probably likely that Castro is going to die. So, uh, yeah, let's jump into it anyway. Enough chat. Let's react. Okay, so. What's going to happen with his arm? Is he going to put it back on? No, he's tucking his arm under his arm. It's time for a magic trick. He doesn't look worried. Demonstrate my powers of clairvoyance. And the arm is gone. Be careful of those cards. The commentator, the announcer, sounds like Misty from Pokemon. God, she's really fallen on hard times, hasn't she? The cards you see go from one to thirteen. I want you to pick a 13? and visualize that. There is no 13 in cards. He's doing a pick and it goes trick. 1 to 10, unless they're wrongly counting up the kings and the aces and the queens and jacks. Okay, I'm going to go with um, 5. So that's 9. Hold on. 9 times 2, 18. Take away, takes away 6 is... Uh, 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6. I knew your answer even before you arrived at it yourself. Are you getting it for me? Ah! Uh, don't tell me he's going to pull out a new arm. The number you chose no! Was one. He's totally you right got it wrong for me. How did he know? Unless I did it wrong. Oh, and there goes the arm. Has actually sacrificed his remaining arm. What in the world is this guy thinking? I have no idea what's going on. Please tell me that he can make a double as well. So you did attack with your double. How interesting. If you had come at me yourself, I was fully prepared to counterattack. His other arm is there. <laughs> By using this. What? Is he somehow using a... A double I predict but now you're going to dance yourself to death dance himself to death <laughs> you can see him no how did he pick me out doubles are made from the image the original has in mind which is why they tend to be pristine. Uh, but you can't reproduce the grime that builds up during combat. The little marks. Had you not realized that yet? <laughs> oh, look at those eyes. <laughs> what? What is going on here? His arm just... I have no idea. Father, I hit you square in the lower jaw, so you'll be stunned for a minute or two. And that means you'll be helpless to avoid my next attack. I was going to say, one. Uh-oh. 
What? Where did this attack come from? You're dead. I don't have time for this. I have to produce my double to block the cards. You can't make another double. Creating a new double using. Oh, are we gonna get a slow motion death? Focus. He doesn't have that whilst he's stunned. The only reason you were able to produce and release them freely was that up until now, you were in a oh. state of mind. Oh, well, that's. He's dancing. Using Nen to replicate and manipulate something. That's as complex as the human body. Is extremely oh. difficult. How difficult, you ask? By the time you've learned to use a double, you've forgotten how to use Nen for anything else. Sad, really. <laughs> it's a little something I like to call memory overload. You only lost because he's not got a strong chin at all, and he's dead. By death. He took a wins by death. Why did you decide to put yourself in danger this way? Oh, both of his hands are there. What was that? Performance art or something? Well. Okay. You're paying me, so I guess I can't complain. He's paying her. Is she She is a medical prostitute. She heals wounds. First I'll need to stop the bleeding. And then pleases. There's no blood, so you don't need to do anything. Be gentle if you don't mind. Yeah, whatever. Turn off your aura. Is this why there was no bleeding? <laughs> she taken I'll mental start photos. With your left arm. Here we go. So you're able to reattach a limb. Stitches. Did she say Nen stitches? He's obviously fascinated by her abilities. There, all done. This is nothing more than an ordinary scarf. I use bungee gum to attach it to my arm, then texture surprise to create a layer of skin. Ah. He's so fast. Fast enough to fool a Nen master into believing the arm had actually healed. Before he thought to take a second look. You started with a misdirection, tossing 13 cards into the air. At the same time, you threw your and arm his arm went off. And that the was the bungee. The gum, and the scarf uh. to the ground the same way. But you didn't let go. The aura from each was connected to the stump of your right arm. Wow, okay. And that's not all. And that's how he did it. You threw as a distraction were also secured to the ground. With so the you can basically the use the force. Aura connected to your left hand. And then, when you threw the ace of spades at Castro. Would you like a souvenir? The aura in your left hand was released. They connected. All uh, 13 of the aura strands you had been holding. And they all connected on the genuine. Fun. Correct. Your so he would have hit him in either way. Castro was. It even worked as a kind of camouflage. You had him convinced that your lack of aura was a sign of confidence. Once you were satisfied that everything was going according to plan, you surreptitiously extended a thread of aura from your left hand, the one holding the cards. Right to his face. It directly to Castro's chin. Everything was ready. You'd already used Texture Surprise to alter the scarf on the floor to resemble human skin. And so, when Castro attacked your oh, right it arm, wasn't actually his arm. activated the bungee gum between your right arm and the scarf on the floor. Your Reattached. Restored, and the scarf concealed the wound, leaving everyone convinced your right arm was magically back. Right, okay, so it wasn't actually... However, this performance Reattached. had the unfortunate effect of bringing Castro back to his senses. And that's why I decided to let you live. You saw that Castro was about to recover. I predict you're going to dance yourself to death. But then you pushed him over the edge. Shut up! 
As soon as he did that, he signed his own death warrant. You can't reproduce the grime that builds up during combat. I like how he just stood there, though, rather than actually doing anything. And just like that, you were able to expose the weakness of his doubles. But if he had just stayed calm and composed, then he actually would have had a fighting chance. However, Castro couldn't bear the mental strain. And then all of those elasticated things hit him. I came here for a reason. Hmm. The message has been changed. All troop members are to be in York New City by noon, August. Troop 30th. members. Not just those who don't have anything better to do. Okay. Is this part of like a circus troop? Probably. This could turn out to be our biggest mission yet. So Interesting. You know blow it off, the boss might hunt you down himself. Now that is scary. Oh, by the way, care to join me for dinner tonight? Nope, she's gone. What a pity. <laughs> Don't worry, you didn't miss much. Boring. Boring. Jesus Christ. Killua, you have uh, very high standards. He never talks about his past. It doesn't interest him. He'll probably oh. forget what Castro looks like by tomorrow. Oh, he's got a tattoo on his back of the... That's the the spider. Have we seen that before? The tattoo with the spider. He's his own man, no doubt about it. Because yeah. he's absolutely convinced that he's the That's most That's the group powerful. that Karapika that killed Karapika's family, was it? My memory's a bit fuzzy about Karapika. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot to take this off. So weird, seeing him. Oh no, he used it. I remember. Time to start the hunt. He still looks so weird about his uh, hair all done up. Right. Okay. So that makes it a bit more clear. He was masquerading as a member of the Phantom Troop, who, uh, if I'm remembering correctly, um, I do remember the. Karapika had some big beef against them because they did something to his family. I don't know whether he killed a, they killed a family member or if they killed all his family. I, I, I really can't remember. It was that far back now. Um, but I do remember that Karapika really hates them. Um, but yeah, he was masquerading as a member. I don't know if we've seen that tattoo before. Um, we may have done, but again, so much time has passed and so many episodes have passed since we got these early details. Really interesting to see him, you know, just look like a normal person without his hair done up, without the makeup. It's all so surreal. Um, it's it's quite obvious as well that they were kind of going for a, a Joker, Harley Quinn vibe with him and that nurse thing. Not thing, but girl. You know, um, she's obviously a member of the troop. Um, but what are they doing in uh, York Newtown is the question. The fight was amazing. At first, I did not know what was going on, but once they explained it in great detail, which I really appreciate, it actually made a lot of sense. He can use his aura to grab things and make them sticky, and, um, you know, again, aura can be used as well to heal things, which, you know, goes to show just how powerful it is. So, yeah, really good episode. Um, amazing fight between um, him and Castro. Um, learning more and more about Nen and Ten and Zets, you know, it is really intriguing. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to more episodes. I am I'm going to try and bump this up to two episodes a week if I get some time. Once we come towards the end of Full Metal Alchemist, I'm going to try and maybe fill one of those slots with Hunter x Hunter. We'll just have to see how it goes. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you for the next episode.